Hello! And welcome to the DJI Mini 3 Pro unboxing video. Uh, it's been a while since I've done an unboxing video, but I wanted to do one for this uh, new drone because I'm really excited about it. It's the first drone that can go fully portrait mode in video. So, uh, let's Hold see. it up for us to see. There you go. Tiny little box, weighs less than 249 grams. We're gonna use my trusty little opener and hammer tool to get the packaging off. There we are, just right here, a little incision. Keep that fresh, new car smell, new drone smell. There we go. The wrapping is off. Throw that over here. And now you can just find, oh, there's another little sticker to rip here. And that's it. We're in business now. Get a nice shot of, of the, the front opening. Oh, so the drone is actually right there. You don't want to have it too much at an angle or it will fall out. It has the Fly app, a QR code, video tutorials, and a manual. We'll scan that later. Nice. Here's the drone. Ah. Drone goes there. What else is in the box? We have also the new DJI RC remote. Let's put that out over here as well. And lastly, there is a box which I assume is full of cables and other um, little screws and propellers and two silica gel bags is in the case. So, I think that's good for now. I can scan the code later. Ultra light and foldable, less than 249 grams. 4K HDR video, feast your eyes on that. 48 megapixel photos, that's insane. And it does vertical shooting. It has the flagship 12 kilometer full HD video transmission, 12 kilometers. Three direction active obstacle sensing, so people won't crash it into trees. And intelligent features such as active track, master shots, and hyperlapse. That's just incredible that they managed to fit all that extra tech and still keep it under 249 grams. I am truly impressed. DJI, give me a sponsor and I'll do more of these promotions. Here is the remote. remote. and get a shot of the back. Seems like it even has a little heat sink to cool off for those long shots. Two wheels to adjust, two joysticks home. Then it has cinema, normal, and sport mode with a grip. It has extra grip on the button, which really helps your finger uh, slide across. And honestly, if I'm in a hurry and don't have time to put the joysticks, this is so feel, this has a nice little screw so you can actually just use it directly if you're in a pinch. All right, let's look at that later. Let's get the actual drone out now. You ready? Mm -hmm. Have a good shot of the drone. Here we go, I'm doing the back. The drone is coming out of the bag. Here it is. Wow, it's a little beefier. Let's open up the arms so we can see it. Oh, it opens up this way now. Interesting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, there's a little bit of um, this plastic thing here, so you want to remove that from the prop so they don't get damaged. Oh, they're longer and bigger too. Interesting. Wow, very really interesting. And they come out this way. So it's slightly different if you're used to the old way. They now pop up. Here's the uh, lens, sorry, the gimbal protector. Remove that. That's what that looks like. It's a bigger protector. And this, this is the actual gimbal. It's full of little plastic covers. We're going to remove those. There it is. There. 
So, as you can see, it has the sensors in the front and sensors here, I assume, for the back side. Avoidance. I guess it doesn't have sideways avoidance, so only forward from what I'm seeing. Oh, and on the bottom here to detect the floor or the ground level. And so this is an F1.7, 24 millimeter, I assume. a bit of extra padding here to keep it from from uh, shaking around while being transported and as you can see this thing is free to rotate sideways like this so you can go from landscape to portrait mode and give you true portrait filming impressive all right let's put this room here i'll actually just reopen the wings Extended. I'll definitely be bringing this on my next trip to Nevada. Get some amazing shots. It feels more stable as well, the way it sits there. Now let's see if we can power on the screen. We probably won't be seeing too much because. Oh wait, we have to check what's inside the box, of course. This is very important stuff. So this is a little box that it came with. Uh, any, oh, this is a touch screen as well. So after, sorry, I'll go back to that. After turning on the screen, you can see how various languages. We're going to choose English. Next. In terms of views, yes, yes, yes. Country, we can have, oh, it's a very nice touch screen. It's like a, almost like iPhone here. Canada. We are. Oh, we're getting connected to the Wi-Fi. There is our Wi-Fi. I'm gonna enter the secret password, which is related to our cat's name. But nobody else will know exactly what it is. The cat is the master password keeper. And now it's connecting to Wi-Fi, and I assume this is how you get the updates directly on the drone to update firmware or your GPS and geo uh, fencing settings. All right, let's leave that here for now. We're gonna click next. The time of day is the next thing it asks for. So what, where are we, Auckland? Oof, no. We're in minus five, right? Plus five. We're in the other side of the world, Jerusalem, Helsinki, Beirut. Mid-Atlantic, no. We're going there, we're almost there. Central time, no, we're on Eastern time. There it is, Eastern, Eastern time. Boom. Make sure the time is set correctly. Yes. Oh, I have to log in. All right. I will do my login stuff later. For now, let's explore the contents of this little box. So the first thing I'm seeing is a little sticker for the recycling information. Share the skies, consider others, be responsible. This is some kind of rules about drone flying. Oh, this is nice to have this, because this some people won't know this. So, fly no higher than 120 meters. Stay as safe and consider distance away from people. Don't fly over private land, such as farms or houses, unless the owner says it's okay. Keep your drone in sight at all times. Stay four kilometers away from anywhere, aircraft are landing or taking off. Know the no-fly zone and it's dangerous to fly drones anywhere other aircraft are operating. Perfect. Check the text, scan the line, eyes on the drone, check the no-fly zones, be ready to land. Thank you DJI. Some more stickers, only one drone at a time, blah 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 blah. We got a bunch of other um, security stuff. This one seems to be in Chinese. 
or Japan, Japanese, sorry. Um, prohibited actions. We have the full set of manuals and safety warranty and the safety guidelines. We don't really care too much about that. Care about safety, but not. Oh, and the quick start guide. That's the last thing in the manual. So it tells you to scan it, remove all the stuff, plug it into at least a 30 watt power adapter for the drone and the remote. And check battery level once. Okay, that's all good. Let's check that out later. Last in the box is French. Uh, French drone thing. French drone rules. Next up we have a brand new USB-C to USB-C cable for charging. I believe it does not come with the actual charging, so I'll order that separately. Um, a tiny little screw driver. Let's open that. Let's open a little screw so you guys can see what exactly what comes in here. That's the whole point of the unboxing video. Service or Titan little things. That's what uh, the little mini screwdriver looks like. You get that? Then we also have a full set of props, um, including what looks like little screws and nuts to attach them. So four more props, uh, A and B, because there there's there are two types. And that's it. That's all that's left in the box. This can be recycled. Let's get a nice little close up on the drone here. Get this shit that gimbo. Base of the drone. The back of the drone. Buttons on the remote. Focusing on that. It's the top, the back, the remote. All right. Well, he looks like you can put a micro SD card, and it has an extra host port, maybe to load stuff onto here and here you have your nice button with the grip so it's easy to change mid-flight you got cinema normal and sport modes well that concludes our unboxing video of the dji rc mini 3 pro excited to share with you some test footage we're going to charge up the batteries and go for a flight around the island here.